What's going on everybody, Hindoji here coming at you with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about taking people's cones on top of their boxes uh, and generally the game theory around that. So you know usually when you go to whack people's cones on top of their box, uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I was re-watching one of the YouTube videos that I posted earlier today and I realized that I had kind of a very cautious way about going for people's cones on top of their boxes and I realized that a lot of people could actually benefit from it. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll the raw footage right now. I wanna see what he's up to. Anytime you see an edit like that. And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. So yeah, I used a few different strategies there when I was trying to take their cone and their subsequent floor on top of them. Uh, and I really focused on protecting myself and not allowing my opponent to get a big shot on me or at the very least greatly reducing the odds that someone is able to open up an edit and take a big shot at you. So first we're going to have to talk about when someone has both the cone and the floor uh, on top of their box. So you haven't claimed anything of theirs. Uh, the first thing you should be looking to do is grabbing the wall piece on top just as you see right here. Now the reason you want to do that is specifically because if someone opens up their floor like this, they could jump up and place a wall of their own, basically blocking you from the ability to put that wall yourself and then they give themselves some extra leeway and extra time to do whatever uh, and whatever shenanigans they're up to it's not going to be helpful for you so needless to say step number one in all scenarios needs to be grabbing this wall no matter what now once you have this wall you're going to want to open up an edit to try to grab the cone typically what a lot of people will try to do is they'll make a very exposed edit to have a lot of room to work with and I'm here to tell you that that's a really bad idea especially if you don't have this first cone that's because if they do a double edit on you you're really exposed and you're gonna have to really reach over to instant reset that wall meaning that they might have a very small but considerable gap to actually pop you for a big shot that you cannot counter so I would employ all of you guys to actually just make a regular window edit any of these edits will do and just start whacking away at the pyramid. You could do it with your with your pickaxe if you line it up correctly. Uh, I prefer to do it with my AR or SMG or whatever I have. And I'll basically just shoot the cone and then replace it. This way, it's going to be a lot more difficult for an opponent to actually open up a double edit and have the perfect angle to be able to pop you. You can even walk back just a little bit. And if you angle it correctly, you could still actually place the cone. So realistically, there should be no risk in grabbing this cone. If you ever find yourself getting hit for a big shot before actually having this cone, I mean, you're just doing something wrong because the, taking the taking on someone else's cone should be 100% risk free as long as you take this first strategy into heart. So secondly, what I'm going to talk about is when you do have the cone. Now, when someone gets the cone, a lot of times I see people get super excited. They'll just open up both of these edits and they'll just start whacking away. Now, I'm here to tell you that that is also a suboptimal strategy because once again, if you're in this spot right here, put your pyramid down here, you just jump. You could get an easy jump shot on anyone who has this edit, right? And if you're in the position of the person trying to take this floor piece, Think about how far you're going to have to reach your crosshair over to either reset the pyramid or reset the wall. I mean, they're both considerably out of the way. Now, don't get me wrong, if you have really fast reflexes, you can still get away with it. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it just gives you this unnecessary risk. And why would you want to take the risk if you could have a more optimal strategy? I would like for you guys to try this instead. Make a U edit, and then edit one out of the four tiles on the pyramid. You could do this either way, this side or this side, as long as the configuration looks just like this as you see it. Now, when you go to break, you're given the right hand peak first of all. So this is why I would actually first off suggest that you do this specific U edit. Uh, but also on top of that, if someone ever makes an edit on you, you're only 
a fraction of the ways away from your cone and you're more protected right so you can either just cut inwards or if your crosshair is like more outwards you can also reset the pyramid uh, the idea here is that since you're more since you're closer to something that's yours either the pyramid or the wall you're going to be able to reset it sooner as well which is why this whole less risk comes out and I can guarantee you if you just practice this for a few minutes the time it takes for someone to pull out their shotgun after editing this is going to be way longer than it is for you just to quickly reset something so basically what it comes down to is if you set up these configurations correctly no one should be able to shoot you at all until you take wall control you take the pyramid with no risk and you can also take this floor with no risk you just have to play a little bit more patient and whenever someone tries to make an edit on you know that you have to instinctually reset your wall but it's not going to be as hard as it would have been if you did a suboptimal setup because Resetting an edit is going to be so much closer if you set it up this way. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that small tutorial slash tidbit. I think that's really useful. Like I said, I just kind of picked it up when I was doing some box fights earlier and I thought about sharing it with you guys. If you did enjoy it, just make sure you know to show your support in whatever way. Uh, use code HINDOG in the item shop. I just got it. I have no supporters yet, so maybe I'll get one here or there. Anyways, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.